What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So this is episode four of the new series. Now starting this video off a little bit different. Now you guys know I've been waking up doing my weigh-ins, doing progress photos, and then doing morning cardio. Well, I weighed myself this morning, but did not do my morning cardio because instead I had to wake up and prepare some food for tomorrow, which is Father's Day. And speaking of Father's Day, I got the ultimate Father's Day gift in yesterday. So check out the ultimate Father's Day gift. Traeger smoker. This is the ultimate smoker. It came in yesterday and I was thinking that they were going to come out here and build it. I was going to do this whole YouTube video about them setting it up and everything. It was already set up. All they did was wheel it back here and just leave it. But check this thing out. Look how big this thing is. So this is where I'm going to stick all the chicken, the brisket. Pretty much you can cook anything in this smoker that you can cook in the oven. So Shelby's gonna be using it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's great about the smoker is it's Wi-Fi. So when the brisket is in here cooking, it will tell you the exact temperatures. And then when it's close to being done, it will send you a notification on your phone and then it will automatically turn off the smoker so you don't burn anything and you don't have to do anything. It's called the lazy smoker. So I cannot wait to use this later on this afternoon after getting back from the gym. So getting my pre-workout all ready to go because I'm going to the gym pretty early on in this video because I need to get out of this house because Brady and Shelby are cooking things that I can't have. They're making desserts, they're gonna be making some potato salad, we got all kinds of stuff because we have other guests coming over for Father's Day tomorrow. I'm just kidding, I'm really not <laughs> craving not really much. really why, right? <laughs> I feel bad. I can't have anything really besides the brisket which is totally fine. Uh, I'm not at that point in my prep where I'm just like craving everything. But today's gonna be a back day so I'm gonna get to the gym pretty early today on a Saturday. It shouldn't be that bad crazy in that place yet. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another workout. I know this episode is a little bit different than what the past episodes have been all about because the other episodes are all about doing my check-in, showing you guys what I'm weighing, what my progress is looking like. And this one is more about my everyday life and showing you guys uh, Father's Day. And I wanted to record this video so that I could look back and see what I was doing on Father's Day 2022. So I still hope you enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started with this workout. So the very first exercise is straight arm rope pull downs. I did seven sets of around 12 to 15 reps. So the seven sets is the FST seven style. So I was only resting for around 30 seconds in between sets. After that went into a neutral grip lap pull down. I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. Now on the third set did a pause rest set. And then on the last set did a double drop set. And what a pause rest set is, what you're going to do, you're going to go to failure and then you're gonna put the weight down and you're gonna rest for around 10 to 15 seconds and then uh, pick the weight back up and go to failure once more and you should be able to get out maybe two to three more reps. After that, went into machine overhand row. I did five sets for around 10 to 12 reps. Now, I did four sets with both arms together, which you're watching right now, and then I did on the last set, the fifth set, I just did a single arm row. So I did all reps on one side and then moved on to the other side. And on the fourth set with both arms together, I did a double drop set on that set. So something I incorporate a lot, as you can see right here, is a technique that I use. And I will go from both arms at the same time, I would hit failure and then I would switch to alternating and when you do that you're normally able to squeeze out a couple more reps so that's just another technique just to bring the intensity that much higher after that went into uh, more machine rows but what I did was go on a lower grip here so as you can see I just lowered my hand placement I did another four sets on here for around 10 to 12 reps and then on the last set did a double drop set after that went into machine high row I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps and and then on the third set did a pause rest set and then on the last set did a double drop set now this machine is one of my favorite machines at gold's gym for back but on this day it was hurting my elbow a bit so i couldn't go that heavy uh, for any of you guys that don't know i hurt my elbow maybe now it's been around three weeks ago and I heard it during a back day. So I've been really having to baby it and not use a ton of weight. And it's starting to heal up where uh, I'm able to work out, but I'm just not able to really go that heavy. And then I have to skip certain exercises that just aggravate it too much. After that, went into a wide grip lat pull down. 
I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps, and the last set did a double drop set. After that, went into a seated cable single arm row. I did three sets of around 12 to 15 reps, and then on the last set did a double drop set. So for whatever reason, doing cable rows doesn't hurt my elbow, but if I tried to do this with dumbbells, I would not be able to do this because I've tried to do dumbbell rows right now and my elbow just will not allow it. I love doing it on the cable here because I'm actually able to do it and use a decent amount of weight. Now, of course, I'm not able to go uh, less than like 10 reps uh, because then it does uh, seem to hurt it a lot and I don't want to do anything that's going to re-injure that elbow because I want it to heal up during this prep because if I had to deal with this injury throughout this whole entire prep oh gosh it's going to be a long long prep now finishing off this workout with a seated cable wide grip underhand row I did three sets of around 10 to 12 reps and the last set just did a single drop set but guys that's the end of the workout now it's not going to be in the description box because I want people to get on here and watch the video and learn from the workouts instead of just getting on the video, screenshotting the workout, and then leaving. But I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So back home from that workout and now about to start the grill for the first time because it needs to season. So when you get a new grill, you have to season it is what they call it for like, I don't know, an hour and a half before you can cook on it. So I'm gonna fire this puppy up, let it sit here for a while when I edit some videos because I gotta get one posted tomorrow on Father's Day. So I need to go ahead, get that taken care of tonight. Brady, what did you make me? I I make it. I it say it say dad. It says dad. That's yeah. right. Is that yeah. for Father's Day? Yeah. Thank you, buddy. It's on me. And that's Brady. Oh, is that your name that you wrote on? It yeah, says Brady. Mommy, mommy did. And did Kinley make that? Uh, yeah, it, that hurts. Is that hers? Yeah, it well, hurts. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. All right, so for dinner, I tried to smoke some trout outside, but then found out it was gonna take way too long. So I had the trout on this and I smoked it for about maybe 15 minutes and then I looked online and it said it was gonna take about an hour. So then I'm throwing it on the skillet here. We're gonna just skillet fry this sucker real quick. Uh, we have some Brussels sprouts over here that Shelby made and some squash and onions and that's gonna be dinner. Check out this bowl of health that we have going on tonight. So we have fish, broccolini, mushrooms. What else, artichoke hearts? Artichoke hearts, cucumbers, Brussels sprouts, uh, onions, squash. <laughs> Just a ton of stuff. That is health in a bowl right there. Kids are off to bed now. It is time to smoke this amazing looking brisket. So this is the reason why I was not able to do my morning cardio is because I need to wake up early today, trim this brisket, and then season it so it can marinate in this rub for 12 hours. So I trimmed everything and then seasoned it uh, around eight o'clock today. So it's been actually around 13 hours that it's been marinating in this seasoning. So now we're gonna go outside and throw it on the smoker. All right, so I got the smoker preheated to 200 degrees. I'm laughing because I'm doing this over and over again. You will see in the bloopers at the end of the video how many takes this took. But anyways, I got the smoker to 200 degrees and I'm going to uh, cook this unwrapped brisket for 12 hours. It's not gonna be completely done in 12 hours, but after the 12 hours, I'm gonna check it and then I'm gonna wrap it. And then after wrapping it, then I will turn up the temperature and then cook it for maybe around another four hours, somewhere in there, and then it will be fully done, I'm hoping within those four hours. So we're gonna eat this brisket tomorrow night. So it's gonna be plenty of time to cook this uh, brisket during that time. Oh, it already smells good, doesn't it? It does. Yum. All right, so I will see you in 12 hours tomorrow at nine o'clock. All right, so it's nine o'clock in the morning. Let's check on the brisket. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. It smells so good out here. So we're gonna bring this sucker in and we're gonna wrap it real quick. Oh man, Daddy yeah, needed more that. butcher paper. I needed to double it up. Uh oh crap, I didn't know it was this big. <laughs> this is problem. Look Don't how touch big it, but it's hot. Is it bigger? Mm -hmm. Why? Better lay it out ready like this. See? Put it on like this. Alright, watch this. Hold it over like that. Is it hot? Uh, not with these gloves on. I, I get my gloves on. <laughs> Good idea, Brady. Good idea. I got them. You do. Good job, Brady. Daddy's helping you. Oh, you're helping me? Yeah. I got some too. You got some clothes on too? Thank you for your help. You're such a big help. And I got one hand. Just one hand? Just one hand. Just a little bit over. Just like Daddy wraps Christmas gifts. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, so the brisket's all wrapped up. We're gonna put it back in the smoker for four hours and we're gonna raise the temperature to 250 degrees. So this is gonna cook while we're at church, right, Brady? We're gonna go to church? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so last night I got done editing episode three and now it is about to go live right now. Two hours later. All right, so we had to rush home because my app said the brisket was done way earlier than what I thought. So I'm not sure if I probed it wrong or something, but I'm hoping that it is fully cooked and I can't even check it until we're ready to eat it. So if it's not completely done, I don't know what I'm gonna do because what you're supposed to let it do is rest uh, for around four to five hours. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna bring it in the house and pray that uh, this brisket is good. So when we wait on the brisket and the guests, I'm gonna go to the gym because today's Father's Day and I get to do whatever I want and I want to go work out. So I'm not gonna be putting in this workout in this video because it's just gonna be way too long. I'm gonna go work some shoulders and then get back. And by that time, we should have a few guests at least because Shelby's mom and her stepdad's coming in town and then her sister and then we have two guests that are from our neighborhood that they're gonna come over and enjoy the brisket and stuff. Probably not gonna vlog at all because that's kind of weird just me vlogging when people are over here. But I am gonna show you the brisket because of course I gotta show you if it turned out or not. So now it's 9.20 and when you're this old and have kids, the party is over so quickly because everyone's already gone. And we had a fun night. It was awesome, wasn't it, Brady? It was? <laughs> so I got my big baby here. My little baby is already off to bed. This one needs to go to sleep too. So I wanna talk about the brisket. I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit more tender. It was good though. The flavors were awesome. Uh, but I did not perfect it. I do need to uh, work on a little bit more to get the tenderness because I wanted it to be like pull apart with like a fork and stuff where you don't have to use a knife because last year I cooked one for 4th of July uh, with uh, my family down in Mississippi and that one was perfect where you could uh, literally cut it with a fork. This one you could not cut with a fork, but like I said, the flavors were really good. I think everyone liked it, didn't, didn't they, they show did, yeah. Yeah, the flavors were awesome, but I do have to perfect that thing. But I'm gonna end the video here because I need to go up there and take him to bed, right? You ready for bed? Yeah, thank you for a great Father's Day. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Do a thumbs up. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys. So last night, Shelby's mom came in town, and we went on a date for the first time in about, I don't know, or me and Shelby went on a date. <laughs> Not you and your mom. <laughs> okay. Hey, mom. <laughs> 
throw it on here and watch this thing go to town. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> so for dinner, I tried to uh, cook some trout or smoke. The 12 hours, I'm gonna wrap it. 12 hours, it's not gonna be completely done. Uh, I'm living, you're on your own. <laughs> All right, so we got the pre-smoker. No. You said it was the last one. You have to go with it. You have to go with it now. Okay. So now when that brisket, brisket. <laughs> I'm so ready. Nine, ten, ready or not, here I come. I wonder where he could be. I don't know. Is he behind the door? No, he's in the closet. No, is he in his teepee? No. Wait, something's moving in the bed. Is it something in the bed? I don't know. Is something in the bed? Is something in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> this monster's got a passy. 